Spending holidays in Europe is an experience that'll make your dreams come true. Europe is incredibly rich in history and values and consists of diverse countries, cultures, and languages. Its beautiful rivieras, islands, little towns, and exquisite cuisine are what tourists fall in love with when they travel in Europe. Traveling across 44 European countries is like traveling in time. It offers you not only modern cities, but also medieval towns and natural miracles, which you cannot find anywhere else. Haven't you already decided where to go on your visit to Europe? Discover with us the most beautiful places to see in Europe, which offers endless tourist attractions. Number 1. Dubrovnik, Croatia Named also Pearl of the Adriatic, the city was found in the 7th century and was occupied or ruled by French forces, as well as Venetians and the Austrian Empire, each of which have left their mark. Dubrovnik is the most famous for its walls, which are running two kilometers around the city and are between four and six meters thick. Another favorite place to visit is the Assumption Cathedral, where you can find a triptych of Ascension of Mary by Titian. Visit also the St. Lawrence Fortress, important during Renaissance against Venetians. The most beautiful beach is Bania Beach, situated not far away from the old town. Rent a sea kayak and take a guided tour paddling around the medieval walls to see the city from a different perspective. The restaurants are exquisite with amazing fish and seafood. Dubrovnik has been incredibly popular during the last years thanks to the TV series Game of Thrones, where it was named King's Landing. Number 2. Karlovy Vary, Czech Republic the most visited spa town in the Czech Republic. It is named after Charles IV, Holy Roman Emperor and the King of Bohemia, who founded the city in the 14th century. The city is full of impressive neoclassical and Art Nouveau villas and beautiful colonnades. The most attractive is the Mill Colonnade, one of the city's symbols. The structure has 124 Corinthian columns and 12 statues representing 12 months of the year. Karlovy Vary has over 80 springs, the hottest have temperatures above 74 degrees Celsius. Shopping is one of the favorite activities in this charming spa town, where you can find not only international fashion brands, but also famous Czech Bohemian crystal products, known for their brilliance. There are plenty of restaurants along the river, which make for a romantic dinner experience. The city is also famous for its international film festival running from 1946. It is held every year in August. Does this town look familiar to you? Some scenes of the James Bond movie, Casino Royale, were shot here. Number 3. Sintra, Portugal Located on the Portuguese Riviera, Sintra is one of Portugal's most picturesque towns. Tourists love it for its fairy tale royal palaces and castles, historic villas and gardens. The Pena Palace, ordered by King Ferdinand II, is one of the most significant examples of the 19th century romanticism in the world. The Pena Park, which surrounds the palace, is full of trees from all around the world, such as ginkgo, cryptomeria, sequoia, magnolia, and covers more than 200 hectares. Another romantic place in Sintra is Quinta de Regalajira. It consists of a palace, church, and a rich, luxurious park that features lakes, grottos, wells, and fountains. Downtown is a magnificent labyrinth of streets and history. For nearly eight centuries, Sintra served as a summer retreat for the Portuguese monarchy and its court. Number 4. Bratislava, Slovakia Bratislava, the capital of Slovakia, is one of the smallest capitals in Europe, but has so much to offer. The city has two castles, Bratislava Castle, which became a favorite royal seat of Queen Maria Theresa, and Devon Castle, destroyed by Napoleon's troops in 1809, which sits on the top of the rock and its ruins are a popular tourist attraction. Bratislava's old town is full of historical buildings and Baroque palaces. The most famous of them is the Grosselkovic Palace, the residence of the Slovak president, the Gothic St. Martin's Cathedral, one of the oldest churches in the country was a coronation church of Queen Maria Theresa in 1741. 
Between 1563 and 1830, Bratislava became the coronation town after the Turkish occupation of Hungary. The city is full of galleries and charming parks. One of them, Sadyanka Krala, is located just five minutes walking from the old town. Bratislava has a lot of cafes, restaurants, and pubs. Try Halushki, Slovak national dish made of potatoes, flour, and egg. Don't forget to say hi to Jumila, one of the city's symbols, and get some souvenirs at the end of your trip. The city's nickname is Beauty on the Danube and is only 60 kilometers away from Vienna. This makes them the two closest capitals in Europe. Number 5. Hallstatt, Austria Hallstatt is a small town in Austria which will astonish you with its dramatic landscape and sceneries. This fairy tale like town is the home of the world's oldest salt mine in which you can visit and also find the oldest wooden staircase in Europe. Also enjoy boating on the Lake Hallstatt. It's such a romantic experience. You can sit in one of the open air terraces and enjoy food and relaxing drinks. You can eat famous lake white fish with potatoes and drink local dry wine. If you wonder how long to stay here, we recommend at least two days. You can also admire the main square, visit Hallstatt Museum, or take a cable car and get to Hallstatt Skywalk, which offers an incredible view. The city is equally beautiful in winter when snow covers the houses and you can visit enchanting Christmas markets. Number 6. Venice, Italy Venice, one of the most picturesque cities in the world, sits on more than 120 islands connected by over 400 bridges. The oldest bridge in the city is Ponte Rialto and is still in use. The most romantic thing to do in Venice, for many people, are gondola rides. There are around 400 gondolas today and prices start from 100 US dollars for a 40-minute ride. Yes, they are expensive, but if you look for a truly romantic experience, this is probably the most romantic one in Venice. Another amazing experience is visiting the world-famous La Fenicia Opera House, opened in 1792. Enjoy concerts of Antonio Vivaldi, the famous Venetian, and many places in Venice. By Vaporetto, Venetian public transport, you can get easily to the islands of Murano famous for its glass production, and Burano, famous for its picturesque, colorful buildings. If you like art, visit the Gallery dell'Accademia with works of Titian or Hieronymus Busch, and the Peggy Guggenheim Museum of Modern Art with the works of Salvador Dali, Pablo Picasso, Max Ernst, De Chirico, and many others. Peggy Guggenheim, whose father died on the Titanic, was one of the last people in Venice with their own gondola and a private gondolier. Number 7. Santorini, Greece Santorini, the volcanic island, is a home to 15,500 people but welcomes more than 2 million tourists every year. The island is world famous for its candy-colored houses carved into cliffs, sapphire waters, and chalk white buildings topped with cobalt blue domes. When you visit Santorini, visit Oya, the charming village from which you can watch the magical colors of the sunset. However, do not expect to be alone there. At sunset, it is the most crowded place in Santorini. It is also a perfect place for shopping and probably the most photogenic place on the island. Do not forget to go wine tasting. The island is famous for its sweet and strong wine Vinzato, which is made from grapes. Santorini is famous also for its good food and intense nightlife. Some people believe that Santorini is the location of the lost city of Atlantis, a mythical land. Number 8. Kokenhof, Netherlands If you like Dutch tulips and beautiful flowers, Kokenhof, also known as the Garden of Europe, is the right place for you. The largest flower park in the world. Open since 1949, it's a home to more than 7 million flowers. Its gardeners plant the bulbs manually every year. The gardens contain also other flowers such as orchids, roses, lilies, irises, and many others. The gardens are open only 53 days per year, from mid-March to mid-May. 
so if you plan to visit, you must come during this period. It is because the flowering time of tulips and other flowers is limited. You can reach the park easily from Amsterdam by public transport, or if you like to bike, this can work too. However, it is a two-hour bike ride. Buy the tickets in advance in order to avoid queues. Number 9. Bruges, Belgium Easily reachable in less than an hour by train from Brussels, Bruges is often called Venice of the North. Due to its picturesque canals and unique atmosphere, Bruges has many of its original buildings untouched, which makes it one of the most beautiful and best-preserved medieval towns in Europe. When you travel to Bruges, the must-see place is the Church of Our Lady, the Gothic church with the third highest brick tower in the world. Inside, you can find the only Michelangelo's statue outside Italy. It was looted a few times, the last time during the Second World War. Have you seen the Hollywood movie, The Monuments Men? The movie is inspired also by the rescue of this marble statue. Do not forget to taste a famous Belgian beer and eat French fries, which were not invented in France, as many think, but in Belgium instead. In order to have an unforgettable romantic experience, take a boat ride through the canals of the city and discover romantic bridges, appealing gardens, and medieval architecture. Number 10. Budapest, Hungary Budapest, the capital of Hungary, is described as the Paris of the East. Thanks to its many tourist attractions, the city is a great place for those who look for historical sites, and one weekend trip is surely not enough to see all its beauties. Start your trip with the Gothic Parliament building, but book your ticket in advance, especially during summer season, as they are offered in many languages and often sold out. Budapest is famous for its thermal springs. Therefore, do not miss the famous Chicheni Thermal Baths, the largest medical bath in Europe opened in 1913. You can also visit Hero Square with its Millennium Monument and Buda Castle sitting on Budapest Castle Hill. You can take a tour to admire this 200-room castle and from Fisherman's Bastion, enjoy amazing views of Budapest City. Impressive St. Stephen's Basilica is dedicated to the first king of Hungary, and classical music concerts take place inside every Sunday during summer months. For history lovers, there is a Museum of Fine Arts, where you can find artworks of Kronik, Rubens, Velázquez, or Goya. Do you like Christmas markets? Budapest Christmas markets are among the most beautiful in Europe. And don't forget to taste goulash soup, a typical Hungarian dish. If you've enjoyed this video and want to see more in the future, leave a comment, give a like, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.